Buddy, <clears throat> can't clubs here back again. Getting ready to get into episode five here of UPW. Discussing out notification here. Let everybody know that it's about to get started. All right dig into it here so uh, I want to thank everybody who checked out UPW First Blood yesterday um, if you haven't seen it yet you can watch it on uh, Twitch for my previous broadcast and on YouTube right now it's uploaded as well um, I hope you guys enjoy watching that and we got some interesting developments uh, we got new champions and we even signed a new talent yesterday. But today we're back in Kansas City, Missouri, back in our home home base. Speaking of new talents, the new signee we got yesterday at the end of the, of the conclusion of the show is named Raymond. And he's going to be competing in our opening match tonight. Now, Raymond was created by... Uh, viewer named RJAM1223 so thank you very much RJAM uh, anyone else who wants to make creations um, be sure to use the hashtag UPWReborn19 which is indicated here at the bottom of the screen check that out um, yeah and anyone who uh, creates a creation I will check them out I will uh, use I'll most likely use them because my goal is to make a community here where we have a mixture of not only my creations but your guys creations as well so uh, that being said we're going to check out Raymond and his opening match against Ultima Liger all right Also, after my live stream, if I've used a character that was made by somebody else, that character will be featured, or the person will be credited in the description of the YouTube video, and then I will add that into the description of the broadcast uh, of the video log on Twitch as well. So everyone's going to get their credit. Alright. Here's Ultima Liger. One of our regulars here in UPW. Trying to get something going here. He's had his share of matches so far. Interesting here. Lights going out. This will be the debuting Raymond. Though I can't see him right now, he's it's pitch black right now in the arena. Ah. Look at this very red and mystique or mysterious uh, newcomer. It looks like a Like Liger might not be able to look or plan on waiting. It's kind of hard to tell. Ah. Looks like he's threatening to run out of the ring. But uh, Liger wants him to hurry up and get in, get this match started. Oh, the match starts. Liger taking him down quickly with a drop kick. They're choking him. 
Well, he's a Mitchell for Liger. Normally he's a more of the aerial offense and a ooh, just stomping on the hand. Not likely to be uh, using these heelish tactics. There's Raymond. Ooh, nice kind of pump super kick there. Ooh, sharp kick to the back. And a stomp. The back elbow there. Oh, and hangs him up on the top rope. And now, finally taking off his, uh, his entrance gear. This dude's a, it's a pretty jacked guy. Ooh, crossface punches there by Liger. Back elbow, ooh, went for an insecurity, got blocked. Oof. Ate a headbutt. Ooh. Sharp kick to the abdomen there. Oh. Oh, nice. Looks like it had the drop kick, or it had the super kick blocked and then caught with the second one. One. Kick out before two. He seemed kind of surprised by that. Picking him up here. Ooh. One, two. And a spinning Samoan drop there by the very big, very powerful Raymond. He just throws his opponent out of the ring. Like you're crashing through a floor hard. Oh, going for like a corkscrew. Missing. Hitting the hard floor. Ooh. Trying to pull Liger, Liger counter there with a low drop kick. Got a short block taking him down. Ooh, and ramming back first into the uh, guardrail. Just plush meat and steel. I promise you the steel will win every time. Whether it's Yuri missing there. Ooh! Lock him with an overhand slap. Snap two flesh into a pin. One. Take out one. The blunder hook. Ooh, nice! One, two, three, and Raymond with a very impressive opening match. Quite the power move there. Yeah. Had that stutter drop, stutter super kick, excuse me. For a very rowdy slam there. Kind of rushing the, the forearm, and this is what did it. Had him up on his shoulders for like a shoulder bomb, and then turn into like a core screw neck breaker. And what the imp what impressive debut! Be interested to see what he does going forward here in UPW. That just was a, a little preview, a little, little taste of what we got here in store for you here tonight. We've got a non title match between the Number one contenders, Kobayashi Strike Force, and the new de uh, new UPW Tag ta Champions, uh, the Tarp Brothers. 
be interesting here to see who comes out in this first encounter between these two teams. come with match two of the evening. Tarpo is on the way to the ring. Looks like Strike Force is already in the ring. They're just calling him out for a straight up fight just outside the ring. And it looks like the Strike Force can't get the better of that exchange. They don't sleep on the strength of the Tarp Brothers. Oh my goodness. Oh my! Just throwing him down. And Ezra Tarp in the ring. The match hasn't officially started yet and won't until Takashi gets in there. There's the bell. He's taking it over towards his corner there, but Ezra Tarp breaks free. Up to the corner there. Oh, almost like a corner exploder suplex by Takashi. Moving him now over towards his corner. And tagging out now. So Satoshi Mashimo now in the match. Looks like a Rings of Saturn type of maneuver. The, the uh, larger Ezra Tarp fighting free using the size of the advantage oof and then just catching him with the right hand a big corner splash there by Ezra Tarp back elbow second one and a big one big third back elbow there Ezra looks like he was getting ready to toss Mashimo around, but Mashimo countered it. Ezra Tarp with a counter of his own. So you guys trading back and forth, move for move almost. Top wrist lock there by Mashimo. Punches to the abdomen there by Ezra Tarp. Oh, there's that strength on display there by Ezra. Moving Mashimo back towards the middle of the ring. Pick him up there in that modified backbreaker, or cross between a torture rack. That maneuver. Let him down though. Did not want to end the match that early. Interestingly enough though, Takashi didn't try to come in and save his partner. Ooh, shoving him down. Counter there by a... a mushroom out. Ooh, he eats a big corner splash. Mashimo trying to get the tag, but not able to get, make it over to his corner in time. Oh, and he just gets slammed down. Pigpen slam. Hello, RGM. We just actually had a debut match for your creation, Raymond. He was successful in beating Ultimo Liger in our first match of the night. A 
right now our new tag champions are displaying their power against the number one contenders. This is a non-title match. Oof. Oh, and a nice kick there. He immediately just popped back up. <laughs> and tarp now. Ezra Tarp, be specifically. Ooh, and his arm just wrenched on. Oh, freakish strength. They get caught the back elbow. Oh, and there's those fast hands of, uh, of Yoshida. Could be going up top. Oh no, he gets thrown down. As we're trying to tag in his, his brother Jethro. Ooh. Throwing him into the corner there. Getting backed off again. As Ezra gets... Starting to get beat down a little bit by Yoshida. Definitely need to make that tag. Over a running drop kick. There it is. Drive by style kick. Get him right in the right in the head. Going for a quick pin now. One, two, and a nice save there by Jethro Tarp. Quickly gets out of the ring. Mashimo getting the count put on him. I was twisting at the head and neck of uh, of Ezra. Ooh, nice counter there. Now picking up Yoshida. Oh, big slam again. Referee distracted there with Mashimo. One, two. Nice kick out there by Yoshida. Oh, rip breaker there. Again, showcasing the strength. Tagging out now. Jethro Tarp coming in, very fresh. Hasn't been in this match yet, officially. Now just speeding up on Yoshida. Barely makes the tag. Oh no. Mashima comes in. There was a big kick there. It's caught. Oh. Slammed down there with a military style press. Oh, and a big whirlwind style slam. One, two, three. And the Tarp Brothers are victorious tonight. Take a look at some of our highlights here. Nice counters back and forth between these two teams. As Ezra did most of the work himself. While Jethro kind of sat back and uh, you see the strength on display there of Ezra. There's the speed and the agility. These guys are your current tag team champions here in UPW. And tonight they're backwards terrifying and always impressive. Alrighty, let's move on to our next match. All right, we've got number, we got Future Soldier, who's the new number one contender for the world title, taking on Cracky the Clown, someone we haven't seen much of since his loss in the tournament.
Yeah, Cracky the Clown lost in round one of the tournament uh, against Gentleman Dandy, and we hadn't seen him on really on screen since then. I take it back. He did have one match. He had a match against uh, C.J. Malone, which he won that one. Actually, I forgot about that encounter, to be honest. Here comes the new number one contender, Future Soldier. See how well he fares against uh, ever deranged Cracky the Clown. <clears throat> Our new champion, uh, which is El Cerebro, has yet to make his appearance. Not scheduled to be here tonight, but you never know. He very well could pop up at any point. Especially considering that his new that his new number one contender is in action here. And here comes Cracky the Clown. Obviously, his his drugs haven't kicked in yet, and it's the way he kind of shuffles down to the ring. As mine as always. Very slowly crawls his way into the ring there. Well, kind of stumbles into it, I should say. <laughs> so it'll be interesting to see how this match plays out. There's the bell. Mighty Future Soldier did suffer a bit of an injury in his number one contenders match, that triple threat match that he won. So it'll be interesting to see how well he fares against Cracky. So far he's doing okay, but it's just the early goings of the match. Nice kick there by Cracky. Received with a kick of his own there, all by a running knee to the face. Ooh, a hard punch by Future Soldier. Another forearm that time to the face. Taking down Cracky. 
Ooh, we're in for a running pump kick. Misses it, the, misses it there. And gets a back suplex for his trouble. Went for a basement drop kick and miss. Didn't miss that chop though. Future soldier here. And with that swinging neck breaker. Putting Cracky down pretty early on. He throws him into the corner there. Ooh, eats a back elbow there by Cracky. Responds back with a slap to the face. And with that helmet on, it's hard to tell what Future Soldier's thinking, but I imagine that he probably isn't too thrilled with his opponent for this evening. Throws him out of the ring. Ooh, catches him with the sliding drop kick. Going between the corner of the ring. Free starts the count there. <laughs> so far, it's been an impressive showing there for a future soldier. Oof. Punch there by Cracky. Gets a, gets a kick for his trouble. A free count to five. Springboard elbow drop right to the spine. My goodness. Now what's he got in mind here? Nice crack against the ropes. Oh. Almost got dumped over the top there. Ooh. Ate a fist though. Now. Now those drugs are starting to kick in for Cracky. Starts to get a little amped up. I started to. Run to the corner. Now he's using that drug strength. Oh, to spear him right through the barricade. My goodness. If we count to four, up to five. Six. Future soldier gets back to the ring. He seems to be doing. Okay, for someone who just got speared through the barricade. Cracky's down right now. Referee count to seven. Eight. Up to eight. He's a hurry up if he wants to get back into this. Nine. Just barely beats the count. Oh. Only to eat a back fist right to the face. The running kick there. He gets blocked. He's starting to get amped up with the, uh, that drug energy of his. It looks like he's going to eat a DDT on the apron. My goodness. The fans kind of booed Future Soldier for that one. That was kind of a dirty tactic. It looks like he may have busted open our resident drug addict. Three starts to count now. Future Soldier. Slides Cracky into the ring. He's gonna go for a pin though. One, two. No, oh, only gets the two. I'm not too sure that Cracky actually kicked out of that though. Trying to get back to his feet as soldiers over there in the corner parading himself a bit. Ooh, nice neck breaker there by Cracky the Clown. Going to the corner. Ooh, it's a kick to the thigh. Returns one back. Oh, step over heel kick. A future soldier. Cracky. Oh, takes a hard back suplex there. Kick 
to the abdomen. Oh! And a brain buster. The floater, but he was tied up in the ropes. Nice job, breaker there by Cracky. Went ran into the corner and then got slammed down. Your Nagi style slam. Clothesline sends Cracky out to the floor. And here comes Future Soldier with a big dive over the top rope, taking out Cracky. You know, for someone who got hurt pretty badly in the in last night's triple threat, he's certainly not uh, not facing a very uh, or not running a very conservative style. Put his body on the line. Probably more so now. That he's number one contender. Three. Oh, and suplexes Cracky out of the ring onto the floor. That will both break the count and possibly even Cracky's back. Oh, just kick him inside the head. Showing no mercy whatsoever. Oh, and runs and just kicks the crap out of Cracky the Clown. Let's crack up on his shoulders. Oh, future shock. I'm sorry, that future shock, uh... One, two, three. Future wave. My mistake. Future shock is something else. Your winner, our number one contender. Uh oh. Sounds like our new champion is going to be sh uh, showing up soon. Future soldier in the ring. Oh no. Eat the clothesline from the champ. What's he gonna do now? Just kind of stands over him. Oh, well, we saw our cha our new champion has arrived, even just for a brief moment. All right. So next match, we've got the new women's champion Carmen Guerrera taking on Black Lotus from the Kobayashi Strike Force. Quite the development as as one of the members of Lucha Revolution has already made an appearance and we're about to see another one who also holds the title currently here in UPW. And here come the here comes the women's champion. There she is. Proudly displaying the belt, but there's Joan Thomas right behind her. Oh my goodness! And the new normal contender attacking the new champion outside the ring. Champion has her belt up or picks up her belt. Oh no! And just lays out the new challenger with it. I guess if uh, Joan Thomas wanted to see the belt that badly, she's going to give it to her. Forearm there. Oh, hits her again with it. And another time. I mean, I guess Joan Thomas may have been a winner in that case. I mean, there was really no contest. 
My goodness. What a crazy, crazy development. Alright, we got another tag team division match coming up here. A couple teams trying to get themselves on the right path. Got the Rebellion taking on the team of Bag Boy and Workhorse of Walmart. So as brief as that was, you had some crazy, crazy action happening just in our women's division alone. And it was inter and it's not really a surprise that Joan Thomas would show up, but I think she got more than she bargained for when she got leveled by the champion with that title. Okay, so preparing for our next next matchup here. Bag Boy and Workhorse. They're off and on so far. They've had some luck and some some misfortune. Rebellion, however, seems to not be able to get out of this out of the starting blocks. And I'm starting to think that they might need a change of attitude. Maybe lose all the color, maybe maybe try something a little more serious. But we'll see. Workhorse and Bag Boy. And there's the Rebellion. Looks like they're not really in the mood for waiting. Come down there. Come rain down. Uh oh. Going after Bag Boy outside. Ooh. My shoulder, but I get countered there by Bag Boy into a reverse DT. After a rear chin lock. Quick escape there, though. And for a chop, missed it. And for a low drop kick, missed that one. Oh, and a nice neck breaker there by Boz. Boz and Richter, they've been uh, they've been trying, but. You really need to step it up to get a win. Otherwise, they, uh, their hopes of doing anything here in UPW could be could be dashed. Nice snap suplex. Yeah, a brief little moment there for him to go step up again, but. All he got was a snap suplex for his troubles. Okay, we're trying to fight back. Try again for that basement drop kick. Missed it though. Oz. Oh, keeping him up and he escapes. Oh no. Stepping on Bag Boy's back. Oh my goodness. Oh, now he's not that big of a guy. Oh! Big Joe style slam by Boz. And the Australian really trying to amp trying to get himself fired up here. Kick to the abdomen. Ooh. Nice arm book there by Bag Boy. Running forearm smash. Now stomping on the arm of Boz. Trying to take away the power game of his opponent. You now showing a little bit of power of his own with a power bomb. One, two, and kick out there by Boz. The Boston Crab. Nothing doing. Boz is able to get out of it. Dives and makes the tag to Richter. Oh. Locked. And thrown over into the opponent's corner. Oh, they're going for the double team. 
Four courses in. Hurricane Ronda into a power bomb. Now workhorse going for a full Boston Crab. And Richter forced to counter have it pretty quickly. Of course with the with the Abner went for a spear but got countered. He kind of stutter stepped it a little bit there. Oh, nice neck breaker there by Richter. Ooh, and a hard forearm shot to the face. It was calling for him to get up and wasted a little too much time doing it. Oh, neck breaker there by a workhorse. A little bit more closer to his corner there. Step over arm drag, but puts him right next to his partner. Not sure if that's the wisest move. Oh no! Referee gets knocked out in the process of that. That moonsault there. Nicely done, just a little, a little wonky. Oh, there's the spear. Referee's still down. Starting to come to now. I was finally starting to fight out of it, but instead turns his attention to Bag Boy. Oh no. That's a big rolling kick there. Laws. Tried to fight back into this one. Oh no. One, two. X Plex style maneuver there. Not enough to get it done. To the spine, but workhorse just pops right back up. Oh no. Big DT there. Has him on the ropes, running clothesline. And here comes the dive from Richter. Taking out Workhorse. And the colorful, colorful New Zealand, or New Zealand native. I mean, no, I mean, no problem taking it to the outside. Leaving workhorse just laying there. Oh, I went over to bag boy. I got popped for it. Gonna make him pay for it as he suplexes him back in. Ooh. Catches uh, his workhorse with a backhand chop in the corner there as he tags in his partner Boz. Boz going in for the double team. Double back by drop. Workhorse, nice trip there. Went for a spear, nailed him, nailed the ring. Oh, and gets the moonsault. The immediate kick out there by Boz. Pops back up. Kick to the abdomen. Nice counter there. At the neck breaker, oh no. Hello, welcome to the stream. One. Kick out there. Bye, workhorse. We got a tag team division match here. Boz whooping him into the corner. Of course, fights back out of it. Nice snap suplex there. 
He doesn't have much to follow up with. Here comes the bag boy. Oh, he just hit the level with the big clothesline as soon as he comes into the ring. Get to the abdomen. Oh no. Crossword style move from Boz. A free, a little slow to get down. One, two. Oh, and I think if the referee had been a little bit quicker on his count, that may have been it. Kick to the back. Bag boy starts to come back up. Yeah. Oh, going for a neck breaker and bag boy counters it. Oh, going for a crucifix slam. It didn't go up with a pin to follow it though. Oh, wrenching on the head and neck of Boz. Look, bad boy's going up top. Could be thinking something high risk here. Oh, went for a shooting star press and got caught with the set of knees. Right to the abdomen. Oh, nice counter the, counter the suplex to the neck breaker. Counter there by Boz. in for the uh, cl clothesline and misses it. Boz just gives him a big scoop slam for his trouble. And Boz going up top. What's he thinking here? And Workhorse is still outside the ring. Looks like he's having a little trouble to navigate there. There he goes. Ooh. Missed it. Oh no, missed it twice there. Snap suplex by Boz. Boz who's feeling the effects of this match. Probably more than more than most people I would imagine. Oh a series of head just slamming his head down a series of times onto the mat. Roll into that knee bar, I think he's too close to the ropes though. Looking to get a tap out. Oh, and right there by the ropes. Oh, it's tagging out. Here comes Richter. Looking to pick apart what's left. Hammerlock DT. Oh no. Spiking him. One. Two. Workhorse makes the save. And down. Down goes Workhorse. That boy fighting back. A bag boy taking Richter over the top. Looks like he's gonna go for a dive of his own. Oh, and onto the floor. Both of these teams fighting to get a win. There, look at that diving splash. Bag boy, this kid, he uh, certainly has a lot of heart. But one's gotta wonder if that's gonna end up costing him in the end. Going for like a diving rocket type of move. Oh, close one. Counter. Another counter. Do us on to the apron. Get suplexed back in. Keeping him up for a slam. Didn't get him though. Fighting back. Oh, the running bulldog, even though running towards his own corner, or running towards their own corner, I should say. Workhorse gets suplexed in. Slam down hard. Looking to finish this one. Ooh, shot to the abdomen. Oh no! His own version of the crossroads. One, two, kick out. Again. 
Bag boy, not wanting to stay down. Despite all the punishment he's taken. Nice experiment carry take over. Head bouncing off that top triangle like ten times. Ooh, big drop kick there. And Boz looks like he wants to tag, but he also looks like he's a bit exhausted. I don't know if he's got much left to fight with. Things are flipping to a pin. One, two. Ooh, nice save there by Workhorse. Oh, <laughs> he gets pinned down. This could be what he needs. Nice counter there. Egg boy, looking to the corner. Now Sunset Flip going for a pin again. A three, count one, two. No, oh, barely kicks out this time. Referee still hasn't put in a count on, on these guys. Oh. Now we're going for a pin. One, two, three. Boz just held workhorse in place the whole time. Referee didn't put the count on him like he should have. But that's not the point. The point is the Rebellion finally have a win under their record. Now finally, some victory for the Rebellion. I still believe they need to make some changes. But, you know, a win is a win. This is a good start for them. Alright, next matchup. Tori James wants to take on Isabel Harper. Tori James has had her ups and downs, not having a whole lot of success. Harper was challenging for the women's championship, fell short last night. So looking to rebound tonight. And Victoria James looking to kind of start building her own path towards the women's title. All right, here we go. Comes Victoria James. This Amazon of a, of a woman. She uh, possesses all the tools she needs. But Isabel Harper, she's not going to take uh, not going to take any chances. Going right after immediately. Not getting much going other than just throwing her into the into the ring. Oof! There's a kick to the stomach. Kick her into the ropes there. Oh! It's gonna work on the arm. It's hard to use that power if your arm is bothering you. Oof! Kick to the abdomen. And a jawbreaker. Stuck her onto the apron there. Oh, it's her back into the ring. Victoria James showing that she does possess the power needed. Nice counter there. Nice dodge. Series of kicks there by Isabel Harper. Up the ropes. Oh, running big boot. Nice 
scooping her up with a big slam. Oh, and just throwing her. Just like kick to the back. Oh, hard chop. This is the punch. Nice counter there. Float over, looking for, looking for the DUT, but didn't get it. Oh no! Just slung around by the hair. Oh! Stomping on the head. Both these ladies were in very rough matches last night. Short games in a rough uh, triple threat match for the number one contendership that Joan Thomas won. And uh, Isabel Harper faced Carmen Guerrero for the women's title. It fell short there. Snake Eyes in the corner. Let's go up to the ropes again. Oh! Tackles her down, starts beating her head into the mat. And for exploder style suplex. The bike exploder suplex. On over to the ropes, getting herself back up on her feet. Oh, kick to the abdomen. And there's the rocket kick, but it didn't even take her off her feet. Oh! Instead, she gets caught with the with the super kick to the chest. Oh no! The red death. Of course, you're moonsault from the top rope. Go for a pen. One, two, kick out by Isabel Harper. Much to the surprise of. Uh, Victoria James. Oh, headbutt. I think at this point, uh, James is just wondering what else she needs to do. I've seen her do this before, and it often backfires and it's hurting her just as much. She doesn't seem to care. She's gonna superplex her all the way up to the floor. That thud. As both ladies land hard. In this Kansas City home crowd, they're loving, loving this action here. Tori James gets herself back up. Oh, throwing her into the, to the barricade. Oh, and just dropping her face first. Throwing her into the ring. Not even do anything, just letting Harper lay there for stomping on her. Counters into like a downward spiral there. Quick kick out by Victoria James. Oh, elbow to the top of the head. Now Harper's trying to get back into it. So she's going for a cutter. Oh! And stick is cut off with a big, big clothesline. Oh, there's a neck breaker. Modified neck breaker on the knee. Now what's she doing? Going up top, possibly looking for Red Death again. Oh, lands it again. One, two, Three, Victoria James, your winner. Trying to prove that she can be a dominant force here in the women's division. I mean, that's what she has to do to, to prove it. Victoria James starts to leave. Now changing her mind, she's coming back. Oh no! Starts stomping. Just attacking Isabel Harper after their match. Sherry got a dominant win. I guess it just wasn't enough. Alright, now time for our main event. And yeah, we got something really special for you now. We've got our Bloodsport Championship currently held by Minoru Kobayashi. And he's going to, to defend it against Trevor Jones in a first blood match. 
Bloodsport Championship was a, for the title that was debuted last night on uh, the first Blood pay-per-view. And all matches for Bloodsport Championship have to be conducted under first blood rules. Which means no pinfalls, no submissions, no countouts, no disqualifications. Only way to win is to be the first one to make your opponent bleed. Now, with that being said, Minoru Kobayashi won this by beating Fun Train last night. And uh, the decree, as of right now, is that the Bloodsport Championship is going to be defended every single episode and during the special events. So, Minoru Kobayashi is going to be working a lot. We main eventing a lot of shows as well. There's our ring announcer. She's going to be explaining the rules to the live audience. Not that anyone here needs to worry about it. Just, she's just explaining all the rules that I explained to you folks at home. So here comes Trevor Jones. So we've had quite a night here on episode 5 showcasing a newcomer in Raymond. We've showcased our champions in action, most of them, and we're about to see a championship match here in our main event. So an explosive episode 5 here for UPW. We got another explosive episode for you tomorrow. And then next sun this coming Sunday we'll have another special event. So be sure to keep it here on UPW on Twitch. And on YouTube if you're not able to catch us on Twitch. We upload it the same day. And here comes the Bloodsport Champion. Showcasing that beautiful belt. Leader of the Kobayashi Strike Force, as the other members have not been successful today. Lotus fell short, or Lotus didn't even get a chance to participate in her match due to the attack made by Joan Thomas. And uh, the team of Takashi Yoshida and Satoshi Mashimo did not were unable to pick up the win against the new tag champions. But here's the Bloodsport title. And there's your challenger, Trevor Jones. This guy could be your new Bloodsport champion. Sure like to prove that he is the gold standard of UPW. But then you got Minoru Kobayashi. Ruthless, hard hitting. Will do anything to keep his championship belt. do anything to win, to be more precise. And it would take a man like him to be able to hold that title. Because it takes a certain level of sadistic nature in order to compete in a first blood match and be successful, more specifically. So there it is, there's the Blood Sport Championship belt. Referee there is displaying it for us as we get ready to kick this match off. There's the bell. Oh, right knee. The admin kind of hurt himself a little bit with that. It's kind of there by Jones. 
Top wrist lock. Punches to the abdomen there. Oh, kick. Can I come on the ear a little bit? For drop kick. Oh, instead gets a right knee. Oh, a big punch. And a knee to the face. My goodness. And this one could be over quickly if uh, Jones isn't careful. Oh, looking into the corner there. Uh oh. Well, he's getting ready to go for that Yakuza style kick and got, uh, got blocked. Countered with a suplex. Oh, shoved down. Trevor Jones picking him up in a deadlift power bomb. Oh, slamming him down hard. Ooh, right knees to the chest there. Trying to make a comeback. Ooh, catching him on the, on the face with that elbow. And now a pair of rib breakers. Second one, yep. Slamming his arm down. Got him up now. Oh, gut, gut buster. Going for a right drop kick, or right knee. Catching him with it. Nice counter there. Kobayashi. Gets his kick countered out and catches him with the Mafia style kick. Pulling him back. Now it looks like he's going to be going for a big swing. Not really a not really a move that's going to be busting you open unless you drop him right on his head. But definitely wear down an opponent and showcase your strength. Parliamentary takeover. Snapmare. It's a chin lock. And right now, this is just more of a hold than anything else. Elbows. The abdomen. Oh, and a Rainmaker style lariat. Gosh, she's sliding under the ring. Oh no, grabbing a chair. That's a good way to bust somebody open. Oh, blocked it. It's Trevor Jones. Oh, lock and kick. Pick up the chair again. Went to hit him in the knee. Oh, couldn't get the leg, but caught him in the head, which is even worse. Oh, and in the abdomen. Stomp on his leg. Uh oh. Oh, and speaking of knees, here comes a series of knees to the head. Oh no, and there's the, there's the win. Kobayashi winning the first blood match there with those knee strikes. Take a look at some of those highlights here. There's a gut check, which is often followed by this running drop kick, or basement drop kick. I have a boot there. That could have been it. Could be actually showing his striking ability. Even even a big swing, showing that his small frame does possess a lot of strength. Even getting him a rainmaker style lariat. But it was the knee strikes that busted open the uh, the challenger. And Kobayashi retains. The Bloodsport Championship here at UPW. Looks like fans here are not really appreciative of that fact, but that doesn't really matter as Kobayashi is your champion. 
You know, letting him know, hey, that's fine, I'll defend this title anytime. Okay. Alrighty. So, that is going to do it for episode 5. So, 5 here of uh, UPW. Hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, those of you who are watching this later on, uh, thank you for joining us. Those who stopped by to watch the stream, listen to the stream, thank you very much. Um, hope to see you guys again tomorrow. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what time. Again, it de always depends on when I when I get off work because I have a time that I'm supposed to get out, and then there's a time when I will probably get out, which is usually later. So, <laughs> thank you all for being patient with me. Um, this is a fun series, and I'm hoping to build more out of this. So, thank you guys again. Uh, tune in for more. And uh, I'll be throwing some other stuff in there. Might be playing some more Ark. Don't know if I'll play any more today. Because it's getting kind of late and I do have to work early in the morning. So we'll see. Uh, I do plan on streaming some more Ark at some point. I am thinking about streaming some more Bloodborne and maybe some more Warframe. Just all depends on what's going through my mind. But uh, yeah, let me know in the comments if you're watching this on YouTube. Uh, I love hearing feedback. So any feedback I get, whether it's in the comments here on the live stream or comments later on, uh, I value it. And any and again, anything that you guys want to send me in terms of character creations, I don't know if it's cross-platform. I'm pretty sure it's not. But uh, use the hashtag UPWReborn19, as it's depicted in the bottom of the screen there. You'll get your creation, you'll get a shout-out for it, and you'll be credited in my description boxes of all videos that your character is featured. Okay, so that's all good all the good info stuff uh thank you guys again for joining me um see you guys in the next one bye bye